Wolves by National Geographic Kids and Laura Marsh. What's that sound? Oh, woo! There's a lonely howl in the distance. Then more voices join in. The chorus of howls sends a shiver down your spine. What's making this spooky sound? Wolves. Wolves all around. Wolves are found all over the world. They live in hot places like deserts. They also live in cold places like the North Pole. The most common wolf is the gray wolf. There are more than 30 kinds of gray wolves and they are not just gray. They are brown, black, tan, and white too. Here are three kinds of gray wolves, the Iberian wolf, Arctic wolf, and timber wolf. Wolves and dogs. Wolves are the largest members of the dog family. Foxes, coyotes, jackals, wild dogs, and domestic dogs are also members of this family. Our pet dogs are relatives of the gray wolf. That's why they look alike. But wolves and dogs are different in several ways. Wolves have a longer snout, stronger jaws, and larger teeth. Dogs have a rounder head and shorter legs. The biggest difference is that dogs like to be around people and wolves would rather be around wolves. This wolf and golden retriever are cousins. Pack life. Wolves live in family groups called packs. A pack includes a male, a female wolf, their young, and a few wolves that have joined from other packs. There are usually six to 10 wolves in a pack. Wolves need each other. Together they find food, protect one another, and care for their young. A wolf alone can't survive for long. Hunting. Wolves are great hunters. They travel many miles without getting tired and they can usually run faster than their prey. Wolves eat small animals such as rabbits and they also eat big animals such as moose, deer, caribou, elk, and bison. And wolves eat a lot. They can each eat 20 pounds of meat in one meal. That's about 200 hot dogs. Wolf talk. How do wolves talk to other wolves in their pack? They whimper, bark, growl, and snarl. But when they need to talk long distance, wolves howl. And when one wolf starts howling, others tend to join in. Howling is what wolves are famous for. Come hunting with me. Stay off my turf. Where are you? Help, watch out. Yippee, we caught dinner. Leaders of the pack. The pack leaders are called alpha wolves. There is one alpha male and one alpha female in each pack. They are the smartest and best hunters. Alpha wolves guide the pack. They decide when to stop hunting and where to sleep at night. Alpha wolves also eat first at every meal. The alpha is the leader of the group. An alpha wolf lays its nose on top of a pack member's nose to show who's boss. Pups. Baby wolves are called pups. Four to six pups are usually born in each litter. Pups weigh one pound at birth and they can't see or hear. They snuggle safely in their den with their mother for the first two weeks. Every day they grow bigger and stronger. At about three weeks old, the pups leave the den to explore. A litter is a group of animals born at one time and a den is a hidden place in a cave or underground where the animals live. When the pups are bigger, other wolves in the pack care for them too. They bring the pups food and they also babysit them while the rest of the pack is hunting. Wolf pups start hunting with the pack when they are six months old. When young wolves are two to three years old, they leave to form their own packs. Eight wolf wonders. Number one, pups open their eyes when they are about two weeks old. Number two, a wolf's sense of smell is about a hundred times greater than the sense of a human smell. Three, newborn pups can't keep themselves warm. They need mom for body heat. Four, each wolf has its own howl, which sounds different from the howl of other wolves. Number five, wolves usually won't hunt outside their own hunting grounds. Number six, Pups play with toys, such as small, dead animals, from a kill or a piece of bone or fur. Number seven, an alpha wolf shows who's boss by walking tall with its tail and ears held high. Number eight, 
Wolves roam long distances as far as 12 miles in one day. Fewer wolves. Wolves rarely attack people. They are too afraid of them. But wolves do attack farm animals. Mostly for this reason, people have killed millions of wolves. So many wolves are killed and they are no longer wolves in a lot of places. Furs of wolves killed by hunters. Today, there are about 100 red wolves living in the wild. Some people worried that wolves might become extinct, so they decided to help. They passed laws to protect wolves. Today, wolves are returning to many places around the world. Extinct is a group of animals no longer living. Wolves return. Wolves have returned to Yellowstone National Park. Once the park had many wolves, but only one wolf was left in 1926. Scientists brought wolves from Canada into Yellowstone in 1995. The wolves had pups. Now there are about 100 wolves in Yellowstone. Once again, wolves make their home in the park. Thank you for listening. The end.